Hello my viewers, this is your fellow farmer Joshua Mwega and today we are going to discuss about the common breeze found in Zambia. The common breeze of course found in Zambia and we are going to categorize them into four categories. That is indigenous, meat breeds, dairy goats and also cross breeds. We'll start with the, the common characteristics of goats. Car common characteristics that all goats takes five months or 150 days gestation period that is the uh, the period from uh, uh, from fertilization to kidding or giving birth then we have females mature as at nine months for all goats then it also depends with the breed and also the the feeding and management programs also uh, contributes to the maturity stage then we we have also mating ratio the mating ratio for all goats is to do it should be one male to 30 females one back to 30 does or does as as some also cause it then the lifespan for goats commonly it is from one to ten years you can keep your goats for a period of ten years then we also said to we also move to indigenous goats what are indigenous goats indigenous goats these are common breeds of goats found locally in zambia these goats this they they have that uh, adaptability of surviving in the uh, areas of zambia with the harsh and the hot environment these they can survive with minimal management they don't de demand high management as compared to these hybrid or imported imported breeds then uh, these advantages of these uh, uh, goats is that they have high chances of surviving or recovering from common uh, tick bone diseases like heart water they can recover with minimal management then these goats also they have they survive in uh, with the little food supplemented to them they can survive you know that is one of the advantages of indigenous goats then their birth weight uh, a kid weighs about 2.5 kg at birth then at the winning stage that is when it is stops stacking about to eight months uh, oh, sorry not eight months about to eight weeks or two months period of two months you can win the gossy then the weighing stage the weighing uh, will be at 12 to 15 kg at each then females matures when fully matures they weigh up to 35 to 40 kg at maturity then males weigh about 45 to 50 kg at maturity then we go for meat breeds meat breeds we have two breeds on meat breeds we have lady karahari and also boagos these breeds they are only kept for uh, meat production purposes or uh, also meat we call it uh, michopo in zambia so these two breeds they are commonly lazy for meat purposes and these breeds they are imported imported from common in south africa uh, that's where more farmers import their uh, breeds uh, from there then these um gods they they are identification uh, characteristics is that the boas they have starting from the neck going to the head they are brown and on the uh, on the other part they are white then lady kalahari they are all lady the whole body then these gossy weighing at birth they weigh up to three to four kg when uh, when it is born then at winning stage that is for eight weeks or two months they weigh up to 20 to 25 kg then at maturity females weigh from 70 to 110 kg 
and then males weigh from 90 to 150 kg that is at maturity then we we move to dairy goats dairy goats these dairy goats they are kept for milk production purposes and they have their uh, that is the primary uh, purpose or product from these goats then secondary we have uh, uh, um, cheese butter and yogurt we make yogurt from goat milk and we also make bars up from uh, goat milk these goats they are only kept for milk production purposes unless when they are uh, cowed or when they are removed when they stop producing that's when you can eat he used them for meat production but the main purpose is for milk production then at the at birth they, they weigh at from three to four kg then at winning stage they weigh up to 13 to 15 kg females normally weigh for uh, 45 to 60 kg at maturity then males at 65 to 85 kg these under these uh, daily god daily gods we have uh, token bags and uh, also uh, sunning these are the dairy goats they produce from 2.5 to 5 liters of milk and you make them twice in a day just like we do for uh dairy animals or dairy cattle sorry so then we go for uh, crossbreeds the crossbreeds these crossbreeds they come from either um milk uh, dairy goats or meat breeds also for uh, indigenous when you cross breed indigenous and also the the meat breeds you have uh, these goats they have uh, characteristics of both parents you use it for mating and the advantages of these breeds is that they have the chance of surviving with minimal attention or minimal management uh, as they will also possess the characteristics of local and also for meat breeds the meat breeds you know they don't survive they have low uh, disease resistance commonly in zambia then there's the indigenous they have high chance of surviving with minimal uh, management and that is what we have thought to share with you my fellow farmers and viewers wherever you are watching us from consider subscribing to our channel for more information about goat farming and farming as business we'll be sharing with you more information about goat farming thank you and stay good so that you don't miss anything thank you my viewers